Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're gonna be typing a recursive flatten function. Now, normally you would probably just get this from a library and you wouldn't be writing it yourself, but for whatever reason, uh, work code wrote their own version of this. And we're gonna go a uh, typing of it because I thought the particular function was interesting and you know, we can learn a little thing here. Uh, as usual, we're gonna set up a virtual env and we're specifically gonna be using Python 3.12 or newer today because we're gonna be using this special new syntax. I'm not really sure whether I like the new syntax or not, but we're going to show it off today. Uh, we're going to pip install mypy, and then we will jump into puzzle 5. We're on 115.0. So, five. Uh, all right, so here's our flatten function, and you can see we are already using the brand new syntax to define that this is a generic taking t. We obviously haven't filled out the parameters yet, but... We know that this flatten function is going to take in some recursive list structure that could be either a list of values or a list of list of values or a list of list of list of list, of list, of list et cetera, like any arbitrary nesting. And you can see kind of an example down here. Uh, if we run this, you'll see that it properly flattens our nested list structure. The way this has been defined in this particular case is a recursive generator here, which takes in that recursive structure uh, at each level, if it finds that it's a list, it's going to yield from a recursive call to itself. Otherwise, it's just going to yield the items. And finally, we convert that to a list down here. So just the implementation, that's not the tricky part here. The tricky part is figuring out how to type these two parameters. Okay, done, done with the intro. Let's look at our hint for today. And our hint here is uh, flatten itself is defined recursively. Can we do something similar with types? Oops, bonk my microphone. Uh, if you would have asked me this a few years ago, the answer would have been no. However, modern Python type checkers all seem to have an implementation of recursive types. So we are going to find a recursive type alias today. And we're actually going to use the new syntax for that as well. Now note, my editor doesn't yet understand this syntax. So you can see it's going to highlight this incorrectly. It's mad about the arrow here because it doesn't know about, doesn't know about the new generic syntax. This, Yes, the uh, maintainers of the grammar I'm using are uh, have abandoned the project. So that's the way things go, I guess. Anyway, we're going to define a recursive list. I'm just going to call it our list, so I don't have to type recursive over and over and over, which is what I did in the first version of this video before I... <laughs> we're in a second take video today. Uh, and just to make it less confusing, the first version was kind of confusing, uh, I'm going to use a different type variable here in our type alias here. Uh, just to quickly explain the scoping of type variables in the type statement, as well as in classes or functions here, in the type statement, this uh, type variable has a scope that's specifically after the equals, although I think you can actually use it in other, you might be able to use it in other type variables within this type. But anyway, it's scoped to here. This T is scoped to here. Uh, and so that, you know, is, is kind of the rules for that. And so this U, I could have also used T here uh, because these are in two separate scopes, but I'm using U just to make it easier to understand for the viewer. Uh, okay, and so we need to define our actual type here. Uh, it is going to be list. It's either going to contain, contain values of that particular generic type or it's going to recurse. And nicely refer to your own type directly in the type statement here. Uh, in the old version of these, you would have to quote them. Uh, we're doing the old school type aliases, uh, but with the new type statement, everything is, is lazily evaluated, and so you can... Yes, which is really cool. And then all that's left here is to use that type alias in our definitions here. Our list of T uh, and our list of t. Note that I didn't need to make another generic parameter, uh, generic parameter for this helper function because this t applies to the entire body here. Uh, you could actually, you know, if you did this, it's actually an error because you're clobbering one. But if you did v, you could additionally type this separately. Uh, but there's no reason to do that because the generic is the same as the outer scope. So reuse this same type variable for our parameter return value here. And that's it. Now that we run my on this, it should all pass nicely, which is cool. Cannot infer argument of flatten. Oh no. Uh, right, yeah, this is similar to the problem that I ran into the original video. 
Uh, due to the way that this is set up, MyPy doesn't have a complete inference for a recursive type. We can sort of give it a little hint and help it along here by putting a value in the front here. Of course, when you're actually, oh, really? Line 17. This was working in my second take. Oh, Let's see if we can assign it here. And normally you wouldn't actually be using something just at the model scope like this. You would probably have a parameter to a function or something which builds one of these types. Uh, in my particular case, I was using a parsing, well, not me myself, but the work code was using a parsing framework which produced this like horribly nested um, AST list structure of a parsimonious node type. So we did this recursive helper function to unfold that deeply nested uh, AST. Anyway, it looks like it's fine if you if you give it a hint here and tell it, no, trust me, my pie, it's int. Trust me, bro, it's int. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess I guess my pie just doesn't even try and do inference on deeply nested structures like this, which makes sense. Like it's it would be you know it doesn't really know whether you would particularly like you could be this list here. Uh, it doesn't know, or I guess list here yeah so it doesn't try uh but if we give it a hint about what the primitive type is it can out from there anyway wanted to show off recursive type aliases as well as a little a little refresher on the uh new generic syntax i actually did a video on that a few i believe it's pep 695 uh, 95 i hope that's the right number yeah 695 so if you search my channel for Anthony writes code PEP695, you can find the other video. If I forget to put it in the description, which is <laughs> pretty likely. Anyway, uh, hopefully you found this interesting. Uh, if you have other puzzles that you wanna share, join the Discord and post them there. Or if you have other typing things that you're just confused about, it's a pretty good place. We have some MyPy maintainers that hang out there too as well. Cool. Anyway, uh, here's our recursive type alias and our recursive Latin function. Hope you found this cool.